outside as he slid off the tracks and into a field. No one was hurt, but poor Gordon felt very undignified. Henry braked hard, but the freight cars hit some of the rubble and plunged into the ravine. Just then, Henry's driver saw a strange sight coming towards them. A freight train was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the caboose. The kipper is due, said the conductor. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to our engine. They got out just in time. Gordon was cross and didn't care what he did. He waited till the table was halfway round. I'll show them, I'll show them, he hissed. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Oosh, he hissed. Get me out, get me out. Not a hope, said his driver and fireman. You're stuck, you silly great engine. Don't you understand that? Something had jammed. The driver reduced steam, but Gordon was still going too fast. Help me, please. It was unloading a huge ship's boiler. Suddenly, the crane swung the boiler and knocked Edward right off the track. Cranky had been watching. Slow down, called Thomas's driver and applied the brakes. Poor Thomas stood dazed and surprised in a muddy pond as a toad eyed him suspiciously. Bust my buffers, muttered Thomas. The day started so well, too. When Duck returned, Diesel was trying to take some cars from a siding. They were old and empty. They'd not been touched for a long time. Diesel found them hard to move. Pull, push. Backwards, forwards. Oh, oh! The cars groaned. We can't. We won't. Duck watched with interest. Diesel lost patience. He roared and gave a great heave. The cars jerked forward. Oh! They screamed. We can't. We won't. Some of their brakes snapped and the gear jammed in the sleepers. <laughs> Chuckled Duck. Diesel recovered and tried to push the cars back, but they wouldn't move. Duck ran quietly round to collect the other cars. Thank you for arranging these, Diesel. I must go now.
Well, this guy died. Nope, he's going out of the water. He's coming out of the water. Oh no, oh no, oh no! He's talking as he said. Dirty water! Ah!